We're going to look at the basics of camera use in 3D Max. We're going to put a box in the middle of our scene, and we can find the camera under the Create tab in the middle here under Cameras. And we're going to look at the three different types of cameras. We're going to start with the free camera. And a free camera is a camera that can move around. This is similar to if you were carrying a camera around a town and the camera would uh, be focused on whatever you pointed it at. So you can see the camera icon in here. And we have a couple of things to look at here. These blue lines here are going to show us a little bit about the focal length and field of view of the camera. And we can access all of the settings just like we do with everything else. Go to the Modify tab. And we can see all the settings for the cameras here. So we see here we have the lens, which is set here at uh, 43.456 millimeters. And then we have the focal and we have the field of view of 45 degrees. So as we increase the field of view, we can see these blue lines get bigger and smaller, and our lens changes as well. The focal length is the distance between the lens and the surface of the object that it's looking at. This is always going to be in millimeters, so 50 millimeter lens, 15 millimeter lens, 20 millimeter lens. We can set that here under the stock lenses. So when we click on 15 millimeters, we can see that it gets very large. If we go up to a 50 millimeter, it'll shrink it down. Anything over 50 millimeter in the real world would be considered a telephoto lens. So we're going to look at what our camera is looking at. We're going to change our view from perspective to camera. And now we're looking at what the camera is looking at. So I'm going to bring our camera up a little bit. We're going to rotate it. And we'll go back here and we'll change our lenses. So we'll go back to a 15 millimeter lens then a 50 millimeter lens and then a 200 millimeter lens. The show horizon checkbox turns on the horizon where it would be. And you can see that black line behind the box there. If we switch our camera over to the target camera, we get one extra piece here, and that's the target of the camera. So when we move the target camera, notice that it's always going to be focused on that box there. So as I move it up, or as I move it in, or even to the side, it's always going to be pointed at that target. We can move that target simply by clicking on it and dragging that target wherever we want it to be. The target camera has the same settings for the lenses and field of view, has stock lenses. All right, we're going to jump down to the clipping planes. And in order to see that, we're going to draw another box just off to the side here. And you can see in our camera view, we can see that box. We'll go back to our camera settings and we'll turn on clip manually. Now notice we get our stretched out field of view lines. We can still see our box. If we change this far clip value, we can see as it's coming in, and this is where our clipping is occurring. So if we bring that past the box, 
notice that our box is disappearing and if we take it a little bit in front of the box we no longer see the box. If we take our camera and we move our camera closer to the box our box then comes into view. So we can use that to hide elements in front of the camera at a certain distance. We can also change the near clip 